Now, I'm no fanboy of Tesla, but Tesla just released its much anticipated semi last Thursday. They claim 500 miles of range, which is pretty exciting for a huge 18 wheeler. And it beat out Cummins with its 100 mile range. So, will Tesla be able to live up to the expectations? We'll find out. Fox News, a trusted news source of flat earth believers and global warming deniers, found a trucker who was brave enough to chime in. This is what he said. Water. Does this stack up, this Tesla electric truck? No, it does not, Rose. I mean, first of all, Musk is motivated by his environmental agenda. And as long as that's the case, I don't trust it. If we design the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. Give me a, an outfit like Cummins or Peterbilt or somebody that would come out with a truck like this and I might trust it. This guy doesn't really know that Cummins already came out with a diesel truck. But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. So you're doing like 60 miles an hour. That's a worst case scenario. 500 miles is nothing for a truck. And can I tell you something? The back end of the story is not being covered. The U.S. power grid is so rickety and arthritic, we don't know if it can handle charging so many electric cars and trucks. What doesn't Silicon Valley understand about your trucking industry? Well, look, they're talking about putting all these charging stations everywhere, and, you know, the roads are terrible. We can't even get the roads right right now. And they're talking about putting all this infrastructure in. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, Congress can't even uh, find their behind with both hands long enough to, uh, to repeal Obamacare for me. Well, I'm not really sure what the government has to do with Tesla's infrastructure. It's not like the government's paying for infrastructure. What's important to note is conservatives hate big government. But why are they so anti-private company? I mean, because Tesla exists off of government subsidies. The crazy thing is, if you add up all the subsidies that, that Solar City and uh, Tesla get, um, historical and and going forward, um, it, it is one thousandth of what the oil and gas industry get in a single year. Well, I mean, he's motivated by his environmental agenda, uh, not by making uh, truck driving easier, not by making the trucking industry more profitable. The economics of trucking matter tremendously. If, if, you have a tr if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we've really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, you take the least cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla semi per mile. We're guaranteeing it won't break down for a million miles because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. Not by making the trucking industry more profitable. So you, yeah, no brake pad changes ever. You don't have to worry about transmission. Uh, there's, there's no transmission, transmission can't break. There are no emissions, no scrubbers, no differentials. None of that is what's motivating him primarily. What about safety? Now, when I say safety, I'm talking about the, the driver's safety. I'm also talking about other cars on the road. I'm talking about pedestrians. Safety for everyone. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. It'll automatically brake, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if, even if, uh, even if you're in the truck and the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, we'll actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's gonna take care of you, it's gonna take care of other cars, it's gonna take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. Is his agenda, then the product is gonna suffer. Phil had to realize that this whole environmental agenda is a strike against capitalism. Capitalism is what has brought the world joy, freedom, and prosperity, uh, it, it, you know, throughout time. And what brings people joy and freedom and prosperity is trucks. We love common sense talk from Matthew Garner. Always terrific to have you on the show. We love having you on and happy Thanksgiving, sir. Good to see you. Well, you know, as you can see, a lot of conservatives just hate renewable energy. Look, I can't afford a Tesla anything, but that's okay because I can see the great things behind their products. This guy, is not really a great champion for his cause because he sees his job gone in a few years, replaced by automatic trucks in a very large, profitable industry. Most people 
do like the forward thinking that Tesla is putting together. And it goes to show you that the United States is still making great strides in technology. Now, too bad it's being hindered by the conservative political agenda, not any sort of environmental agenda.